So the three basic types of EQs are peak and dip, which is generally a graphic type EQ, bell or parametric EQ, where you can select the frequency, select the bandwidth that it affects, and you have a boost or a cut. So you have more parameters on a parametric EQ than you do a peak and dip EQ. And then there's shelving EQ, which generally will boost an entire range of the frequency spectrum. If you have something that's very thin sounding and not enough low end, you might center the frequency at 100 and do a shelf so that everything 100 and below is boosted, but it's boosted evenly. Whatever input you're hearing, whatever instrument you're hearing, everything gets boosted equally with a shelving EQ or cut with the shelving EQ. A high pass filter is another part of EQ that is very common in a recording and in live music also. A high pass does exactly what it says. It lets high frequencies pass and basically filters off more of the low end. 